Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today I had a special request and I thought it was such a good request that everyone should know how to do this. So uh, while I'm recording, um, I'm in the midst of recording days one through five of um, the first five days of owning your Cricut and what you should be doing. And so while this isn't technically part of my first five days, I feel like it should be part of that series because learning how to use contouring is such a good feature and it would save you so much time. So anyway, this is the special request that came in. Um, I think she's a card maker or a scrapbooker. So I'm neither of those, but I understand the need for doing this. So what she wanted to do was um, cut out this Christmas tree stencil. So that would be like, let's say you wanna do this in gold, right? So I'm just gonna duplicate it so you can see it. So let's say she wants to do this gold outline and then um, on the inside though, all these little cuts, she wanted to use like, let's just say six different types of cardstock. So in this one, it might have like lights. In this one, it might have a picture of snow. So you kind of get what I'm saying. She's trying to fill in all these little cutouts with different cardstock sheets. So the way you would do that is obviously you still want this overall piece, right? Um, you want to make sure that you size everything accordingly. So if you want this size, um, that's when you make your duplicate. Okay, so I'll start off with that. Okay, so first thing that you do is this is your stencil or the, the outline that you're going to actually cut out, right? Now we're going to work on these little individual cutouts. So what I would do is bring in a shape. We're going to be slicing because we want the insides of these pieces. So I think what I would do is this. When you're slicing and you want the inside pieces, what you want to do is, and actually hold on, let me see if we even need to do that. Let's go to contour. Oh, we don't even need to do that. Hold up. Let me delete that for, oops. Let me undo that. I was gonna add an extra step, but it looks like we don't even need that extra step. So give me a second. Let's delete this little square thing and forget I even started there. Okay, so this is your, your outside piece that you're gonna do in gold, for instance, and then now we're gonna get the insides, okay? So all you need to do is go to contour, and what we wanna hide is we actually wanna hide this stencil piece, right? So let's click on it. So what you have left Let's see, are all the inside pieces. So you see, look it. So now what you need to do though, is this is one image. So if you wanna change this up, now we can bring in the square and make it a little bit easier. So for instance, we want these cute little cutouts to be, um, I don't know, maybe pink cardstock. So you're gonna grab the square and your image here and you're gonna slice because we wanna remove those little, I don't know what you call them, little wings. <laughs> you wanna move, remove this so that it's, it's now not part of these pieces, right? So this you can change to, you know, your blue cardstock for instance, and that's gonna cut in blue. Now, if you actually wanna make each one of these different, then what you need to do is you need to slice them out separately. And sometimes it's hard to slice out because when you're slicing, whatever piece you wanna remove from the image, it has to be covered completely by another shape. But it can't, that shape can't touch any other piece. So in this case, it might be easier to actually contour. So if you want this to be three separated pieces, then you need three copies of this image, okay? So let's duplicate. That's our second copy and here's our third copy. So we're still using contouring. So let's click on contour. And now we have just the three pieces, right? Well, I'm going to remove these two pieces and leave the big one, okay? So now the big one, you know, you can keep it the blue and let's make the smaller one, this middle one, let's go to contour. So now we're removing this piece and this piece and leaving the middle piece, right? So here's your middle piece all by itself and you wanted to use, I don't know, pink cardstock. So there's your pink one. Whoops, did I not click it? There we go. And then now we want this little um, sort of diamond piece. Let's go to contour. 
and you can hide this one and hide this one and now you're left with this one and maybe this one you want to do glitter cardstock and there's your green one so that's how you separate within this but let's say so now we can delete this so now this piece is still the five sections together right so you can again use this square and let's remove this top portion okay so you want to make sure that that top portion is completely covered by your square then you're going to grab these two items and you're going to slice we're slicing to remove that top left corner to its own piece and then these four are still one image okay so then now this one you can remove this these are just slice results you can either change this one to be the color that you want or this one they're both the same so let's say this one you want to do um, a burnt orange color so you can see the pieces are going to fit perfectly inside and then this will fit this we separated into each individual pieces so let's do another exercising just to really get us um, familiar with this let's say this orange piece you wanted this to be orange but this piece not to be orange so we want to separate this into two you got to duplicate it and then our first image we're going to click on contour we want this to be orange but we don't want this to be orange so we're going to click on this to remove it from the image so see there's our little piece and then this one we want to remove that top teardrop because we already have it so we're going to go to contour and we're going to select to remove it so here we don't want that one we're left with the little i don't know chestnut piece and let's say this one we wanted to be we wanted it to be orange but a different shade of orange so there you have it so now you can go through each one of these it's a lot easier if um if you could uh just ungroup the whole thing right but you can't because this you see how it's one line item it's one image so to break it apart you can either slice it like for instance let me remove this for a second let's say now now we want to remove this piece remember you need to make sure and i'm going to show you why this doesn't work okay i'm going to scroll up a little bit so our square does not completely cover the image because look at this these little things are outside of that right so this is what happens when you do that I'm going to slice it so you could see so remember before when we sliced it see how these three weren't covered in that thing so now it's still connected to this piece and then this piece over here is like a partial image so that's why you need to make sure when you're slicing whatever you want to be removed from the image has to be completely covered in your new shape and only that portion be covered in the shape so that's that's what's going to be important so let's look at this again now let's say you know because we completely butchered this right we want to get rid of this you could click select on contour and remove those pieces so for instance we can select here i'm removing removing and removing so now on my back to this image i only have the three sets right so contouring is so awesome because it can do that now let's look at this original image let's make a duplicate copy so that we don't mess up this now look at this one right we can click contour and we can say you know what i don't want any of those pieces hide all and you have a solid christmas tree so contouring is just is such a time saver um, so it's really good to understand it and get used to using it because a lot of times for instance i'll see an image for instance let's say um a bear right because the one that one's really popular i feel like everyone's seen it it's the one that has the word mama out of it but let's say i wanted to use that image but i don't want mama my daughter calls me mommy so you can just contour hide all and then put in your mommy word right so it's just so many ways to use contouring and makes it um so awesome and so useful so all right i hope that helps you understand contouring i'm going to do one more example just to make sure we completely understand this so i'm going to remove this little guy 
and let's slice out this piece, okay? Now you can slice out using any shape. So let's use the circle now. Like I said, the only rule is that whatever you're trying to remove from the image is completely covered in your new shape. So in this case, it's totally covered, right? So I can grab the two items because you can only slice two items at one time. It's gonna be my shape and my image, right? So here I'm gonna slice. And so now I should be left with just these two in the original, which I am, see, they're still connected. And then my other image that was in my circle is now its own separated piece. So you could change that to, you know, one of your pattern cardstock or something. So this goes here. So you can see how it's easily filling up and it would be such a pretty piece for your um, card or your scrapbook page. Now, let's say, again, if we wanna separate these three, you can do it by making however many um, items you want separated, then you need that many copies. So in this case, we need three, right? Because we want each piece to be its own. So you're gonna to go to duplicate or duplicate and do two of them so that we have three right here, right? So the first one, we're gonna to go to contour and I'm gonna save the middle piece. So you can either select in the picture or you can select in the panel. A lot of times I prefer the panel because it's easier to select my pieces. So I'm deselecting these to say, I don't want them in my image. So then on this one, I have just the middle piece. On this one, I'm gonna keep the top piece. So I'm gonna contour, remove the middle and the bottom, and there's my top piece. And then on this one, I want that bottom piece. So let's go to contour. I'm removing the top piece the middle piece and I'm left with this one. So now I can change these into three separated, three different papers, or the reason why you might wanna separate them is because you wanna save on your cardstock, even if they're all the same color, see how like much closer I can get this in? So in this case, we're not saving that much paper because these are small pieces, but sometimes when the when the images are more separated, you wanna remove the space in between so that when you go to cut this, it's a lot easier. So let, let's show you what it looks like. So let's go to the Make It screen. So what I was saying with those three pieces, oh, this is still there. Now, I forgot to delete this, but you can easily click on the three dots here and say hide object. But you see the three pieces here? I can make this really, really close to each other. In this case, it's not as important, but if you were tight on space, sometimes it helps to move, be able to move these pieces. Here's our pink one, our orange one. Let me get down to something that isn't. Okay, we didn't separate these two, right? So look it, there's a little bit of empty space. I can't do anything because the image is, um, had all this space and because we didn't separate them, I can't move these circles closer. So it's not a big deal here, but let's say, click on the three dots, move object. I'm gonna move it to this one for now because this one's busier, but let's say we had an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So this fits, right? But see, to get this to fit and cut on one sheet, I'm a little bit more stressed for space because I can't move these two. If they were two separated pieces, I could have this up in this corner, right? And I can have this piece here and it would cut on my eight and a half and by 11 paper without any issue. So that's, that's sometimes when you want to use contour to separate out these pieces is so that it can all fit on one page because right now it's moving together as, as you know, two pieces, or in this case, really, it's what, five, six, seven pieces. If they were all separated, gosh, it'd be so easy to squeeze them into little pockets here and just cut it on paper. All right, I hope that was helpful. Let me know, I'm always, I mean, I get super excited when someone has a question because these are real life issues and it's really hard to Google and find your answer if you don't really know what you don't know, right? You don't even know how to search for it. So I'm here, <laughs> let me know. Reach out to me on my Instagram, Facebook, comments on my YouTube. 
Um, in this case, you know, I didn't understand what she was asking to begin with. So I asked her, send me screenshots so I can kind of get a feel for what you need. And so you can email it to me. It's Ann, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, see you guys later. Bye.